Today I'm gonna show you three ways to find client as a freelance graphic designer. Here we go! What is going on guys? It's Sava from Sava Designs. I'm a freelance logo and brand identity designer and today I'm gonna tell you how to find clients in a three different ways. But before we even start, you can hit that like and subscribe button and in the comments below, you can comment I subscribe so that I can personally thank you. And if you want to learn more about logo design and business side of design, you can follow me on Instagram here and you can ask me any questions that you want, I'll 100% reply to it. So without further ado, let's jump into the first way to find clients and that is freelance platforms like 99designs, People Per Hour, Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer.com. I can't remember, but that's enough. Those platforms are made to connect designer and the client. And they're doing great job. You don't have to worry about anything like protecting yourself from the potential scammers or payment process, many transactions or any other legal rights. Yours is just to create strong profile and to go out there to find clients or the clients has to find you. It depends on which platform are you planning to work because every platform has some different rules and you have to experiment to see which one is the best for you. Another thing is that those platforms are great, especially if you're a beginner, because you can practice your skills as much as you like. However, the bad side is there's so many low budget clients, but also so many low budget designers. And their goal is quantity, so they'll probably beat you up with their low prices, so you'll have to follow up and to charge very low for your services. And it's really hard to pass that stage and to actually charge based on your actual value. Now, I'm not saying that it's not possible. I know many designers who make pretty damn good money out there, but you'll definitely have to try and to see from your own experience what's worked for you. I personally couldn't find myself on the similar platforms, but that's not reason for you not to try it. The way number two is to be hired by some design agency, and I'm gonna tell you why is that smart thing to do. So when you work in agency, you'll probably have some kind of mentor or a senior designer, and you can learn a lot from him or them and you can skip that learning process and you can gain experience much faster. And you can use that experience if you decide not to work with the agency anymore. The bad side is it's really hard to find those agency if you don't have any previous experience or your portfolio. So my advice is go practice and you have to create some kind of portfolio. It doesn't matter if you don't have real clients, you can make it up, go to fakebrief.com or something like that because uh, they want to see your thinking process and how you solve problems. It doesn't matter if uh, those clients are fake. And if you get hired by some agency, uh, don't expect some uh, real big money at the beginning because that's how it is in every other business. When you are a beginner, focus on getting knowledge and experience and later money will follow. And finally, the third way, and in my opinion, the best way, but also the hardest way, is making your personal brand. The hardest is because you'll have to put a lot of energy time and later even money for building your brand. And it's never ending process. You will constantly be in the situation to think, what is the next step? Uh, what should I do? What's the right thing to do, etc., etc. And you'll definitely not be just a designer. You'll have to be a lot of other things like copywriter, video editor, manager, marketing guy. And that's how it is in every other personal business. You will have to do a bunch of other things until you'll be able to hire some, somebody to work for you. You will have to be present and super consistent on social medias because that's the way today to build your personal brand. You have to be there for your audience, to give them the reason to follow you, to make valuable content, to solve some problems in your niche. That's how you will gain trust. And you have to be unique to find your own way because there's thousands and thousands of other people uh, doing the same thing as you do. So you should have a plan and most importantly, you should love what you do. Because it is really exhausting and time consuming uh, showing up every day 
day or two creating new content and new ideas and simply being creative. So you can do it only if you love it, if you're motivated enough and you have to really want it. But in all of that mess, people will start following and trusting you and clients will start reaching out to you. They'll see your effort, they'll see how are you treating your audience, they'll see your work, it has to be quality work of course, but they'll start reaching out to you. And then you'll have reviews from your first clients and then the other clients will see that you did a great job and it will be like a snowball effect. You'll have more and more clients and you will be able to charge more for your service. And beside the money and clients, you will make amazing connections. You will meet amazing people that will join your community and you will join in their communities. And that's why this is, in my opinion, the best way because you will get so much more than just the clients. I'm not gonna lie to you, if you really want to do it, then it's not going to be easy. But if you love it, if you truly love it, then you will enjoy the process and all of that that I mentioned before, it doesn't matter because you will enjoy the process and that's the most important thing and that's the whole point. For me, building my brand is a lifestyle and I am still motivated like I was three years ago when I started. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Work hard, be patient and you'll make it. See you in the next video.